we go. Hi, everybody. Yep. 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 Hi everyone, if you could take your picks for the tables, please. Uh, we we'll the usual format. We'll see what I have to put TV, over here. There's a massive big chunk in the middle. So we, just, we don't we need to do it in the middle, here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. If everyone could just raise our hands if we've got questions. How are you doing? Alright. So, uh, he's back. How are you doing? How are you doing? Alright. And before we start, congratulations to the kids of the family on the new arrival. <laughs> he wasn't going to do anything until I said that then. <laughs> yeah, no, right. That wasn't. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Uh, thanks very much everybody for coming um, and just to confirm we have vision access it'll be probably around half 10 quarter to 11 in the morning and uh, captain's press conference a bit an hour later so Paul I'll invite you to start please. and just get your thoughts on the selection do you see this as a return to your, your first team or is it just first not really no um, uh, obviously we had a few injuries last time and uh, there's a, a few injuries uh, this time round as well uh, those guys who were uh, not fit to play um, against Italy. I've used their time well and uh, fit and rowing to go, so that freshens things up a, a, a little bit. And having said that, I think it's a it's a it's a good side, you know. So it's uh, it's one that's that we've uh, um, excited to to see take the field on Saturday. Some of the, the new faces, some of them are new, but um, uh, Crawley coming in at, at full back and Ali Eger on, on the bench. Can you tell us? about those players, what you see in them and why you chose them? Well, it's, uh, I think first and foremost, it's, it's always a, a pleasure to, to give somebody their debut. Um, but uh, I think this is a special one because it's a special story in, in Oli. Um, in fact, uh, I've had a couple of conversations with him over the years in, when we was over in, um, in New Zealand. I, I met him about his plans, etc. And, uh, um, and, and where that sat, um, but he was cont content enough because he was building uh, uh, a really nice life for himself over there and doing unbelievably well for the Crusaders. Um, but he showed his ambition to come back to to, to Ireland and make a claim for uh, a spot in in um, playing for playing for his country. So we've 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 had him earmarked for a while, but watching him start his career in Ireland at Munster and how that's gone and then giving him the opportunity to come to Portugal with us and, um, and he's had a few more weeks uh, since then in the squad we've been nothing but impressed you know he's a, he's a big man uh, uh, very low maintenance um, a proper man's man you know uh, uh, the tash says it all doesn't it and uh, um, he's he's very knowledgeable well coached um, and for a big man he gets around the field and got a good feel so um, he deserves his chance I thought coming into camp and then uh, transferring that to his performance against the Scarlets where he, he not actually played for, for quite some time actually uh, was, was pretty impressive so we're excited for him to, to, uh, to show what he's got on Saturday um, and then for, for Frawls his first Six Nations start um, uh, exciting for him, you know. He's uh, he's always been in and around the squad and, and pushing, and you know the the versatility uh, that Froles has got uh, has always probably earmarked him for um, a bench spot, etc. But he's always been waiting for this chance. Hugo doesn't get injured too much, does he? Um, so uh, I look at his skill set; is 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 fantastic. Um, and I'm sure that he's, uh, it's a big week for him, you know, so the, there'll be a test of his temperament, but he's playing in a good side. I'm sure that he'll take his chance. Just briefly, is, is Billy being an injured or like... No, he's not. He's not. It's just an opportunity to see what, what um, all he's got. Thanks. Further? Yeah. Hi, Andy. Uh, Kieran Crawley's first start, as I said, it's an easy decision to bring him in. Well, it is because um, he's, he's trained there for us a lot and... Uh, we started the, the the campaign with him over there in Portugal. He was training as a 15, so uh, it's it's very natural for him to to, to, to fill that position, and he, de he, de he deserves his chance in that position. Have you any more news on Hugo's injury? Do you expect him to be able to learn, or? No, we don't. He's making great progress. Um, he's using his time wisely. Um, uh, as I said, he doesn't really. Uh, 
uh, get injured too much, although although he's the the the, the longevity that he's had and how he plays the game, etc., has given has given this last couple of weeks to be able to clean a few things up, and he's worked unbelievably hard on that. Uh, um, but as far as his knee injury is concerned, uh, he's making great progress. We expect him to be back for the England game. And just looking at your bench as well, you feel you've got plenty of options there with that kind of split, especially if it's full back. We do, we do, yes. Um, we, we, we train in that manner the whole time. People are always swapping and changing because it's important that other people know each other's roles and, 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 and um, what we expect of each other in, in that regard. So um, I expect that to be to, to be just fine. Well, you just go Sorry, we've, we've got a few people to go around. I just, I'll come back if I can. Thanks. Stephen. Uh, Andy, your under-20 coach has been appointed on an interim basis at Ulster Rugby. Could you give us just your assessment of what impact you think Richie Murphy can make there? I think it's, I think it's a great appointment. I think he'll do a fantastic job. His uh, his rugby knowledge is second to none. Um, he's a very experienced guy that's been an assistant for for, for quite some time, um, and I know that he worked uh, with us for for a short period before he went to the under twenties. Um, and but that was his next step to to take that type of mantle on and and do it his way um he's certainly done a fantastic job i mean coaching coaching the the, the under 20s is coaching in its purest form it's bloody difficult like you know because the swapping and changing the, the whole time each year it shows uh, exactly the quality that he's got and his knowledge of the whole game um i think uh, i think the players uh, up at ulster there will We'll, we'll love him and his attitude is uh, a great a great fill, but first and foremost, I think they'll respect his knowledge first and foremost, definitely. The, the, the number of Ulster players you've been able to select in your squad recently is probably a reflection of how the team has been playing. But from an Ireland point of view, how important do you think it is that Ulster can return to the powerful province that it, that it once was? It's not. A, it's not a reflection on uh, how Ulster are playing. This is this is the individuals that play with it within uh, any any given team. And as you know, that what I've always said, I never ever uh, look at selection on 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 who's playing well, just on form and whether they deserve it or not. And and um, you know to counteract that, what what everyone else is doing at the same time. So look, it's 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 obvious that we want all, all the provinces playing at the top of the game. Um, if that happens, it's a special place to be, but it doesn't tend to happen that often, does it? You know. So um, uh, I, I, one th one thing I, I know for sure is that it's also they've got a fantastic squad and good people um, um, up there, and the lads that we have within our squad uh, are exemplary to to the club. You know, as far as their attitudes are concerned, whether they're playing or not. Neil then Ashley. Andy, was it a pleasing moment to tell Kieran Frawley he's starting this week because he's he's served a pretty long apprenticeship in the the wider squad over the last few years. Yeah, he's he's um he's been in a, in and around the squad and he's always um uh, had a, a an appetite to want to to get to this type of position. So now it's coming round. I'm sure that's a big big moment for him and his family etc. Uh, to start to start the game. But it's all about performing, isn't it? It's about taking your chance, and that's what internationals are all about, you know. Um, all you need is a chance. Uh, you say it's up to it's up to the individuals to go and to go and take that and prove a point. Yeah, um, Andy, since taking the head coach role, is this the most competitive you find this Irish team has been at? Um, I don't know. You probably made me think about that uh, a little bit more when I when I leave here. Um, it's always been competitive. It's always been difficult, like you know, to, to select a squad because there's so many uh, good people, and it matters so much to them to to want to play for Ireland. You know, so it's always difficult. Um, but all you can do each week is 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 refer to uh, to to the player that deserves it. You know, um, like I always say, the selection. Selection isn't down to me or, or to the coaches. It's down to the down to the players first and foremost, and hopefully they can perform well enough to take selection into their own hands and take it out of mine. Um, if that doesn't happen, then it becomes 50-50. Sometimes you're on a gut feel, etc., and you've got to do what's right for the team. So that's never been any different. Yeah, you see the likes of Gary Ringrose is out, many just deal. That's obviously not part of the squad. Only coming in, it just feels like. It's 
Yeah, no, I can see that from from your point of view. You can see that, but that, that's that's exactly what we want. And you know, I, I say to all the, all the players, the, the players are not, are not playing. Sometimes it's just it's just nothing down to their to their form neither. You know, Finlay had a, a, a decent game uh, last time up, but all he deserves is chance for 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 what he's shown that he can do for us. You know, so and. You know, I mean, I'm just using that as an example. It's the same for everyone else that uh, whoever gets a chance, I hope they they perform to the best of their ability because that that means it lifts the other person's capabilities to to, to want to get back in. And we've always said competition for places is it has to be at its premium for this for this team to keep on growing. And uh, that's that's what we're trying to do here. Finally, just what can you expect from Wales, and are you looking forward to getting back to the Aviva? Always love uh, playing at the Aviva. Um, uh, playing against Wales, well, you, you know it's always going to be a scrap. Um, you know that every single time uh, Wales play against Ireland, it means probably a little bit more to, more to them. So, I've been told certainly over over the years. Um, so we're aware of that and. We also know as well uh, that Wales uh, historically have always got better throughout the competition. You know, we're, we're five weeks into it now, come, come the weekend from when we first started training. Um, we know that they'll be better and hopefully we've used our time wisely as well. Last two questions, Murray and Elizabeth. Yeah, so from you both, anyone else who wasn't available because of injury? So who have we got? We've uh, Gary. Gary's uh, not, not quite right. And Ian Henderson uh, has uh, a dislocated toe. Uh, not as bad as that. Oh, he's he's, <laughs> he's going to be um, he's going to be fit uh, sooner rather than later. So hopefully for for the England game as well. Gary, um, he's trained with us all week, and he has done um, for the for the last ten days in the fall all week as well. Not contact though. Uh, he's made good progress, and there's no point in in pushing him and and. and pushing him into a contact session and setting him back again because he's made so much good progress, you know. He's, he's, he's nearly there, but not quite. Final question this section. Kevin Garrett has a bit of time to start. I think you didn't go training on Tuesday. I said, how's he feeling? And how close to the wire was the decision made for him to be able to play? He was never in doubt. Uh, this happens the whole time in, 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 uh, in a test match week where you have to manage people differently. That's the whole point, isn't it? You know, the the only thing that matters is how you uh, how you get to a point where they're, they're able to be the best version of themselves on the weekend. Uh, sometimes uh, people have knocks or, or little bits of tightness or whatever that that takes a different course within the week. So the plan for for Kaelin this week was always to train on Monday, which he did. Uh, not back that up with uh, two days on the bounce on Tuesday and train fully on Wednesday. Wednesdays are. Our big session, and he, um, he he was full steam ahead as far as that's concerned. Thanks for the online and TV and broadcasting success.